So our next problem is asking us to convert a fraction to a decimal. So for our previous problem, we converted a decimal to a fraction, and now we're doing the other way around, and we're converting a fraction to a decimal. So we're converting 3 over 8 to decimal. The easiest, there are a couple of ways of doing this. Um, obviously, you can use a calculator to do it. But the easiest way, I think, is probably long division. So how do we do long division? Is that 3 over 8, this fraction, is essentially, is essentially 3 divided by 8. So we can just use do 3 divided by 8 to find out what's this value of, as a fraction. So right over here, we're doing 3 divided by 8. This is just a division sign. And obviously, you can just directly use a calculator to do it. But we're just going to do it by hand here to show you the complete, um, the complete long division process. So right over here we have three, and how many eight makes a three? There's, we need to put a whole number over here, and we can't have a whole number multiplied by eight makes three. So the best we can do is a zero, and we know zero times eight is less than three. So right over here we have zero. So let's just do 0 over here and 3 as a reminder or remainder. And next, we can drop a 0 over here. Note, notice that there's a point over here because um, this is a whole number. And in order to make our long conversion to be able to continue, we can add extra 0 over here. But obviously, we can't just write a 0 because that would make 3 30, which would change the value of our answers. So we put a dot over here, means this is 3.0, which is, has the same value as the number 3. All right, now we have the number 30. Um, so we need to put a whole number as big as possible that multiplied by 8 is less than 30. So the best we can do is here is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And the remainder of 30 minus 24, I should put a minus there as well, is 6. So we have 6 over here. And again, let's drop another 0 because we still have like a remind, remind, remainder. And we need to convert it to a decimal that's either like ends the long division or became a number that repeats itself. Sometimes, and, and, and when you convert a or fraction to a decimal, um, you know that the result is ended when the when this becomes a whole number. So for example, if the next is 60 and it's 60 minus 60 equals 0, that would end our, um, end our process and you would finish the process of converting a decimal to a fraction. Or when a number repeats itself, then that's also another way of when you know that you finished your process of converting a, a fraction to a decimal. Okay, let's continue. So what's the largest whole number that multiplies by 8 that makes a number less than 60. So the best thing we can do, let me think about it, is 7. So we have 7 times 8, which is 56. And 60 minus 56 is equals to 40. And right over here, we would put a 5 because 5 times 8 is equal to 40, and 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. There, we have no remainders, and we have a, our answer, which is a decimal, and it's 0 0.375. So over here, we know that 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.375 as a decimal. And this is our answer. This is our answer right over here. Perfect. So this is how we convert a fraction to a decimal. What we do is we just use long division. Very straightforward, isn't it? Okay, let's look at our sample solution over here. Um, they didn't use long division. They are trying to see the power of 10 or 1,000, which is another way, and it also works. But you might get really large numbers in those cases. In this case, a thousand, it isn't that bad, but 
I think our ways of long division is better because it always works. Or I mean, this way always works as well because you're converting a fraction. But it's, it might not be as straightforward to see that 1,000 divided by 8 is 125. If you don't have this memorized, it's less easy to see. OK, so we have the same answer. And the solution is correct. I'll just say something like, long division might be easier. Might be easier. But that's also just a personal preference. OK, so let's just say the solution is correct. Long division might be easier. Great job. Okay, now we can move on to our next question.